So the overview for this week for our math learning is on Monday we are going to be finding perimeter, on Tuesday we're going to find the area, Wednesday we're going to be finding area of compound shapes, on Thursday and Friday you will have some athletic tasks that have been set. Just a quick note about the work set for this week. We are, as we are doing area and perimeter, I've had to send quite a few worksheets through. Um, so I will send these through to you as a PDF um, because I think they'll be easier to access on there. So if you want to print them out, that's absolutely fine. But um, if you can't print them out, you should still be able to see them easier on a PDF. Perimeter. So you might remember that perimeter is when you measure the outside of a shape. So if you look at the rectangle we have got on the screen, you can see that the length is 10 and the, and the width is 6. So the formula we need to remember is you can either add them all together, so length, add length, add width, add width, or you can do length add width times 2. So let's see what the answers are. So we've got 10 add 6, add 10 add 6 equals 32. Or you can do 10 add 6 equals 16, and then 16 times 2 equals 32. So, so far we have found perimeter of rectangles, but what do we do when we have shapes that look like this one on the screen? So this shape is called a composite rectilinear shape, and what that is, is two rectangles or squares put together to make a shape just like this. So to find the perimeter, you do exactly the same thing, but you now need to use the values that you've got. So you can see at the top we've got 14 and the 12, so we could find the perimeter of that shape. Underneath you've got 24 which is the two, the perimeter of both rectangles together. Then you've got your 4 and your 8. And then we've got a question mark. So for that you need to use the information that you've got. So we can see that the whole length of that bottom is 14 and at the top, sorry, the whole length at the bottom is 24 centimetres. At the top you have got 14 centimetres and you're missing the last value. So you can do a simple subtraction of 24 take away 14 and you will be able to work out that that question mark is 10. So what would the perimeter be now? I'm going to give you about five seconds just to work that one out in your books and then we'll do the next one together. So you should have the answer 72 centimetres. Next it's your turn.
So, for your trivia challenge for today, I would like you to measure some objects that you have at home and see if you can find the perimeter. If you do not have a ruler or a tape measure, that's absolutely fine. There are also some going to be some problem solving activities on the next slide. So you just choose the one that's right for you. If you are measuring objects at home, you can record these into your books, but also you might want to take photos for your evidence in your book. Morning Year 5, let's see if you can remember how to find the perimeter which we focused on yesterday. So all of the rectangles on this slide have a perimeter of 36 centimetres. So can you find the, miss can you find the missing length? So today we're going to focus on area and hopefully you'll remember that area is the shape is the inside of a shape. So yesterday we found the perimeter which is the outside, the area is inside. So when you're finding the area, you need to remember this formula, and that is the length times the width, and that gives you the area. When we are recording area, we need to use a small 2 to show you that that, that symbolises area. And that explains that we are multiplying two dimensions, which is the length and the width, together. So if you look at the example, shape A, you've got your length of 12 centimetres and your width of 5 centimetres. So looking at our formula, we do length times width. So 12 times 5, that equals 60 centimetres, and then we'd write that as 60 centimetres squared. Sometimes the question will ask you to estimate the area of a shape. In this case, it is asking you to estimate the area of the rectangle. So our, the dimensions we've been given is 7.8 and 4.2. So what we need to do is we need to round both those numbers to the nearest whole number. So if you look at the number line below the rectangle, you will see that we have got a number line showing you 7 and 8 because they are the two numbers that we could round to. The blue arrow shows the midpoint. The midpoint for decimal numbers is always 0.5. In this case it is 7.5. So if the number is 0.5 sorry, 0.4 or below, you keep it to 7. If the number is 
0.5 or above, so 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, it goes to the next whole number. So if we look at 7.8, we know that 0 0.8 is above 0 0.5. Therefore, the number goes to 8. So 7.8 to the nearest whole number is 8 centimetres. Let's look at 4.2. So again, you can see that the, t the numbers on the, on the number line show you the two whole numbers, 4 and 5. Let's see where point 2 goes on the number line. So we can see that point 2 is before point 5, it's before the midpoint, therefore we need to round it down. So 4.2 rounded to the nearest whole number is 4. So, to find the area of this rectangle, you now need to multiply 8 centimetres by 4 centimetres. And we know that that equals 32. So your answer would be 32 centimetres squared. So compound area, if you look at the shape at the, uh, at the top, you will see that is the area we are trying to find. And you should be able to see that there's a black line that I have put in there to show you where the two rectangles have met. And in the shape below, I have separated the two rectangles so that you can clearly see they are two different shapes. So to find the area, you do need to find both the area of both the shapes and then add them together. So let's do 4 and 6 first. So 4 times 6 is 24. Add 3 times 7 equals 21. So 24 add 21 equals 45. Now it's your turn. Have a look at this compound shape and see if you can find the answer. Now it's your turn. See if you can find the area of this compound shape. If you need to, use the slide before as a reminder. So let's go through the answers now. So the area of rectangle 1 is 8 
times 2. So that equals 16. Then the area of rectangle 2 is 3 times 6. That area is 18 centimetres. So now we need to add 16, add 18 together, which equals 34 centimetres. And make sure you've got the squared at the end, so 34 centimetres squared. So well done if you've got that correct. challenge for today is a little bit different. So I want to see if you can create your own compound shapes using objects that you have in your house or your classroom. If you do not have a ruler at home, you could estimate the, the length and the width. Or if you do have a ruler or a tape measure, then you could measure that, the size. Once you have measured the size, or estimated, you need to then calculate the area. Remember, if you have got a decimal, you need to round that to the nearest place. So look at the one that I found at home. So I use the Journey to Joe Bird book and my mobile phone. And I found the area to be 359 centimetres squared. What shapes can you make? Take photos and put them into your book or draw them into your book, please.